Hello! Tonight on Fart Chair Detective, deep from Fartland Yard. Oh, oh, yes. You're all in it for a bit of fun. Right, right. Cheerio, chat. No, sorry. True crime, a terrible sight. In all seriousness, we are back on the Delphi murder case, which I tend to think that uh, it's a local, I've said, but adding maybe it was a random murder, maybe it was a serial killer. That being said, people, and this guy, um, we are still recording, um, saying that is very interesting, also very disturbing. I mean, what was it? Was it a local, was it a serial killer, or was it just a random act of murder? Of course, here we have some interesting mapping. Very different from mine, of course. Monday, two girls are dropped off at the Moran High Bridge on Delphi Historic Trails to go hiking. Which I don't know and understand when they say they were dropped off Monday and they were here on the bridge, meaning, which looks like to me, on a bridge, that's day one. Tuesday, 12, 15 p.m., the girls' bodies are found 50 ways from Deer Creek on private property. Okay. How bizarre is this mapping? First, they dropped off here. Tuesday, girl's body found 50 feet away from Deer Creek. Now, to me, 50 feet is not very long, if you ask me. Which is meaning that they're saying it was over here, so. But, once again, if this is the bridge, but look how this is. You got this on the river. That's where they supposedly get dropped off. Come over here. There's a river, meaning that's the bridge they were on, then dragged across here. But, but, if that's the case, and why are they coming way over here? Because if you think about it, the trail leads this way to the beginning. Not this way, then over, then here, then bodies over here. So what, why the mapping on this would immediately confuse somebody, and it did confuse me. That's why I like doing these videos. Because when you get stupid maps like this put in to the public's eye, how are you gonna get a correct, um, sighting of because if you're thinking if you're some average joe that don't understand mapping oh the bodies are found i mean they started here all right and you got this average joe thinking they're being an armchair detective and then they go over here that means they walk through the friggin river or did they do this they walk this way that way across here then to the bridge oh then the guy comes out kills him drags him over there but your, your average armchair detective. Right, right. Cheerio, mate. So confusingly, and then you come up here. Wednesday, or Thursday, sorry. Police and FBI execute search warrant at home where Maxwell family lived. Which I did not check that out yet. But once again, confusing on the map. Body found here, and that's on the farmer's property of the old man with the beer gut belly. But yet, these guys are supposed to be way over here. So tell me, how did the bodies end up here and get way over there? You see how this makes the whole case confusing? You see how this is you know, when they make mapping like this, it's either to confuse the public is right, 
in the cover up. That's what I see this as. Cover up. That's right. And it leads me to this. Comment. Now, I have not had the chance to do anything I said in my last video about thinking of what the killer would do. Because, literally, I have been dealing with two effing a-holes. And today I had to go to the court, mind you. And now I am filling out paperwork because of two effing assholes that started something that they're going to literally get themselves and hang themselves criminally when it's all said and done. And I also get the opportunity to punch someone dead in their face when I'm done. Oh, man, I tell you. And mind you, a man had stepped out and called my woman the C-U-N-T. But I'm waiting until this court date is set, settled, and demised up into my liking. And someone's going to get knocked the F out. Oh my God, I can't believe the stuff that's happened in the past few days. That's why I haven't been on. And oh my God, man, I can't believe what I've been dealing with. And mind you, all this happened all around on my birthday thank you yes but anyways as we're well, just sitting here probably reading and who cares about my life anyways <clears throat> someone wrote to me i'm keeping their name private of course you can read it and stick with the name for yourself if you want to see it it's in my comments but i prefer to not show the person's name and this person i believe and it feels like they're telling me sending them down wrong path meaning the police carter said for more than two years you thought that we wouldn't shift gears to a different investigative strategy but we have so i'm assuming in this other youtuber that's got three years work into it i'm sure he's gonna see this and back me up on anything i need to know um but as you can see whoops now you can't <laughs> um that they are saying they have came up with different strategies and they're putting out what the killer did now, if that person with the three years, I forget, I don't want, like, I don't like to use names sometimes, but he knows who he is. He's already contacted me multiple times on this case, and if I want to get deep into it, I can. But this person actually comes out and clears up some things, if it is true. I'm not saying it is. This is what the person wrote to me. Uh... As I speaking of 1243, of course, me mentioning what are the three things that the killer, did, you know, left distinctively behind. We don't know. This person says otherwise. Of what those three things could be, one, Libby's clothes removed, Abby still fully clothed. Two, Libby covered in leaves and twigs, Abby fully exposed. Three, Libby discarded, Abby posed with hood up. Someone's incriminating identification left at the crime scene. Girls not killed at the crime scene, maybe killed in the creek and then dragged to the crime scene. Yeah, cream. I'm thinking of cream donuts right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But dragged it up. But then you got maybe. Then you got girls not killed. Or, you know, then you got all this, you know, what if and and how, what, when, but, who, when. But when they say maybe killed in the creek, then then dragged to the crime scene. And then left the spose, unbose, putty up, clothes off, clothes on. So, you know, it could be true. It can't be true. It's one of them type things. Because when you say maybe, that could be meaning maybe for everything you just said too. But I'd like to show this comment, of course, in case I've gotten deleted or someone comes up and says, you don't know what you're talking about. But in, in ways, if that was a strange thing that did happen, damn. And, that, you know, this, this, I can ensure you what I'm thinking these are none of what I was even thinking about. I was thinking more of worse things. 
And believe me, sometimes I think of things and because of the fact, you know, you got to think like the killer to catch the killer. I do disgust myself a lot, but when, when you're in crime like this and you want to get someone caught, you got to think and you got to pinpoint in that killer's mind if he is still alive and if he is still out there, you got to bash into his skull and show him that, you know, there's people out there just as sick and demented as you, buddy. But guess what? You can't run away. Because when we do find you, and we do know what you've done up here in your sick, twisted mind, that's right, another sick, twisted mind's gonna come back up on you and bite you right back in your ass. It's all gonna come back at you, buddy. You're lucky you don't get caught by a vigilante, which I hope someone does. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyways, anyways, this being said, local on the map over here this guy ivy ives eves i don't know i've been getting i want to apologize for getting jermaine messed up with german i believe it is german is her name so i want to clear that up someone commented to me corrected me thank you i don't i'm trying my best to get back to comments and whatnot and talking to people but i tell you my life right now Oh my God, every, every day I wake up, there's a new chapter to my book that's never going to end. It's never going to end until I'm fucking dead. <laughs> and I tell you, it keeps getting better every goddamn day. Oh, man. Anything else I got to know? I do not got anything else up but this. I wanted to share this because, yes, very interesting. Whatever this guy knows or thinks he knows or does know and blah, blah, blah. I hope it's proper information that could be out there. But if it ain't, you know, this is why I do these kind of videos. There's always someone got something to say, something to see, something to hear, something to add in. And everything here is welcome. But if this is not anything that is known on public records or blah 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 whatever i get it you don't have to correct me you don't have to tell me about them a false statements this has already been said because i'm just you know what i started from the beginning on this case and i like to go through things one step at a time because stuff like this does come out and if it is you know the truth or if it is something that leads hey you see something comes out when you doesn't mention something or do something different different from the original case and that's what i try and do keep it all different all different so something does come up but if it's all the same all this all old news so what at least i get my word out of what i think and what you need to look for and i've like i said i've been placed in some stuff that was said and um caught on the eye about someone you know, and saying, hmm, this guy knows something that was never released in public. But I still got to write out my things I need to do. These things I will not put in, of course, also, because these have already been said. And like I said, I wasn't thinking about them anyways. But yeah, if I happen to have came across that, now I won't write it. Because it's already there. But I got other things. It could be... The reason or what had happened but we'll see what comes out of this until the next video be safe take care always be where i want to thank everybody who's commented everybody who's joined my page oh my god i see my numbers going up man it's getting i'm sitting on the edge of my seat can't wait until i reach them thousand subscribers man i never thought the day would come i got like 200 and something to just make it to a thousand to see what's gonna become of my damn youtube channel everybody i highly appreciate appreciate you being here thank you all once again fans make the band fans make the freaking page fans make the channel fans make the book of the author Fans do it. And I'm lucky to have everybody who's joined me so far. Hopefully we can bring forth more stuff together. Just like this, just like the other guy. You know what? 
even though he hasn't joined my channel or not, doesn't matter. At least I know he's out there looking at my stuff. And if he's got stuff I want to look into, I can look into that too. I just got to, you know, say the word. But like I say, I'm not doing that right now because I ain't got the time. But other than that world of YouTube, this is what I'm looking for, man. Getting the power up and solving some crimes together. Until then, next video, people. Out.